Are clean bikes overrated? Maybe. They certainly take a lot of work to keep clean and sometimes it's the last thing you want to do after a ride. So today we're going to tell you all the good things about a dirty bike. To start with, there's no constant cleaning. Cleaning is a faff and no matter who says they like doing it, they're lying. Probably. I'm looking at you, Doddy. And cleaning bikes can be even more of a faff than anything else. There are so many little nooks and crannies and so much greasy stuff that just doesn't want to go away. This takes so much time and the last thing you want to do at the end of a ride is to get cleaning. You're tired, you're hungry, and you stink. You just want to dump your bike, get inside, grab a snack or a burger or maybe a beer and hit the shower. Maybe not all together. And if you're not filthy enough after a ride, cleaning your bike basically transfers half the muck off the bike onto you. So dump your filthy bike and get to the comfort of the indoors. We all know you've earned it. No one wants to steal a dirty bike. See where I'm going with this? Yeah. Picture this, you've stopped at the shops on your way home from a ride. You want to get a bite to eat. You've locked up your bike, but next to a sparkling clean and fine looking bike. Your bike is gross and it's honking. Any would be thieves would be crazy to think about taking yours when there's another fantastic clean bike right next to it. The dirt can be a disguise, a camouflage, if you will. It helps protect your bike and masks the beauty hidden underneath the filth. So think of it as a safety measure for when you have to take your pride and joy into town. But obviously, make sure you lock it up too. Don't rely on this tactic. You know it's being ridden if it's dirty. Yeah, it's proof. If you have a dirty bike, one thing is for sure, you've been riding it. Your mates can't point, point at your dirty bike and accuse you of not giving it the trail time it deserves. If they see your clean bike, they might compliment on the shininess, but they know it's not being ridden. You've not been riding. Everyone knows it's not being ridden, it's a disgrace. You can make the excuse that you clean your bike after every ride, but who actually does that? No one believes you. hides the scratches and the general abuse. You can be the most careful rider in the world, but if you're riding, then your bike is gonna get scratched. It will get paint chips from general riding and when you rest it against trees or when you're transporting it in the car, it will get scuffed by your shoes or your riding gear. But if you never wash your bike, then you'll basically never know. It will be hidden underneath a layer of dirt and mud so that you'll never be worried about how your bike looks underneath it or ever again. It will be forever hidden from view and prying eyes. And that added layer of dirt and muck actually adds as an element of protection. The bike can't get scratched underneath all that dirt. So it's like having a brown colored wrap on your bike. It's free protection. Less cleaning means more riding. Of course, the more you clean your bike, the less time you have to ride your bike. That is a fact of life. You have to plan in time after your ride to clean it, but that could just be more riding time. You can plan for like an extra half an hour and just dump your bike on the floor when you get home left in its glorious trail muck. Look, we ride because we love to ride. We don't ride to clean. Get more time in the saddle because that's what counts the most. Let me know, have I convinced you to never clean your bike again? Are you gonna ride dirty from now on? Let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there and I'll see you next time, but thanks for watching.